Hey guys, I'm going to be reacting to two things uh, to do a tech update. One, I'm going to be reading an article with um, ChatGPT development company called OpenAI and their CEO, Sam Altman. And I want to see what he's talking about in terms of what his plans are for ChatGPT and, and AI. And the next thing I'm going to be reacting to would be Boston Dynamics Robots. They released a new video about eight days ago, like just a week ago. And I'm, I just kind of have a feeling that these two things will come together. You know, you know that it's coming, like everybody knows it's coming. We've got the software developing and then the hardware that's developing. And oh, and there's another news that I'll give you at the end that I uh, found out as well recently, which is pretty exciting. They're kind of in line with all these technologies that are coming up. Right. So let's check out the interview with uh, Sam Altman from OpenAI. This is coming from TheVerge.com. Uh, looks like we are already talking about ChatGPT4. That's really exciting. So right now what we have is ChatGPT 3.5 and I think it's going uh, paid service. There is uh, on the internet right now, there's been screenshots going around with um, uh, some people getting, uh, I think it's like $42 per month uh, and people are taking screenshots of it and putting it on Twitter. I, I Let me know what you guys think about that price. I, I think it's, uh, it's fair. Um, considering like especially uh, me being a programmer and it helps so much in my programming everyday programming job so i think it's worth it all right so right away first quarter or half of the year will chat gpt4 be released and he says he's not sure <laughs> right okay so on the internet people have been saying gpt3 has, has used 175 billion parameters and People are saying GPT-4 might do 100 trillion <laughs> and, and Altman said it's a complete bullshit. <laughs> so you can't trust people, what people say online. <laughs> it's like, it's a ridiculous thing. I don't know where it all came from. So he says people are begging to be disappointed and we don't have an actual AGI. And AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. So what that means is basically uh, artificial intelligence that is a uh, general purpose and meaning like it could it could basically teach itself almost like a human being um, I think once once we get to the AGI I think uh, we could pretty much say that AI is a sentient being there might be conscious consciousness coming out of it we'll see we'll see what happens so it says we've picked out some of uh, Altman's most notable statements and on the money, OpenAI is currently making not much. We're very early. Well, that's about to change, as I mentioned. $42 a month. They're going to be making so much money soon. And plus, I, I heard Microsoft is heavily invested into OpenAI. And I'm pretty sure there will be some deals happening, like financial gains on the OpenAI side, when their AI gets embedded into some of the Microsoft uh, products. So on the second point, what he's saying here is when AI uh, is fully packaged as a product, uh, you can expect to see many different versions of it. So there's going to be one that's super safe uh, for work. Uh, it's never going to offend anybody. But then there's going to be, I guess, a bit loose and more blunt AI. So there will be different flavors of it coming out. I mentioned this before in my other video that should pop up above. And I have a feeling that um, at the end of the day, all these big companies, OpenAI, Meta, and Google, they will be uh, packaging up their AI and going to be selling it to other uh, startup companies as a development kit. And then other startup companies will take that and train their own kind of a domain expert AI. So on AI changing education and the threat of AI plagiarism. <laughs> yeah, that's happening. Definitely. You really think college students wouldn't use AI? They would just milk the crap out of this technology and get their degrees while the chance is there. I'm trying to find something tangible that he says that we could get out of, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Yeah, so the most important thing I guess I can say from this article is that one, uh, like 100 trillion parameters, like we're expecting G GPT-4 to be just absolutely crushing the current GPT-3.5 with this, these many parameters. But I think that's, according to him, that's complete BS and that's not gonna happen. So we could expect to see um, it's still quite a bit of improvement, but not as much as like just completely crushing 3.5. Um, and, and I think that's about it. Not much, but uh, still looking forward to uh, GPT-4 and I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what's happening with the software AI. Let's uh, move on to the Boston Dynamics. 
All right, here we go. Let's watch the video. Exciting. Uh, I forgot my tools again. Wow, he pulls out a remote control. So we could expect to have remote control. Perhaps we can have controls on our wrist. Wow, that's impressive. It's so funny how it wobbles side to side when it runs. Nice jump. <laughs> wow, look at the perfect balance. What? I can't even do Such that a as shot. a human. What? Did you guys see that? Wow, guys, that was amazing. That robot, the spin jump at the end. I think um, I can't even do that as a human. But it, it was able to do a perfect rotation and then and then land on its own feet. So I would say that's already like, I don't know, 80 to 90% better coordination than human population. So not only from the software side, we're getting beat, but now the physical side, we're getting also beat. That's crazy. And it didn't like the previous video where the, the robot, I remember it had platforms that's already staged and it looked like it was doing a routine that's already programmed. But this one, it doesn't look like it's doing that. It's actually setting the platform so that it can cross that. And then you cannot predict the, the, the placement of that platform, that plank. Um, so every time it places it, there's going to be some randomness. It's not a fixed plank. So it's going to have to adapt to that. So a lot of that is like a mix of hard-coded path with some dynamic path. Um, and again, with the box, dropping the box as well, you know, th that placement of the box when it lands, it, that's random a little bit randomness there. So it's really impressive. Um, and uh, like I said, in the beginning of this video, I, I told you guys that I was gonna tell you a little bit of uh, uh, some tech news that I'm, I'm seeing. Uh, in uh, Korea, there's a startup company, uh, I forget the name of it, but basically Korea is known for dominating memory chip market, uh, not the CPU. CPU is still like designed and dominated by um, other countries like US, uh, probably mostly the design part is, is in the new US and probably manufacturing all those CPU chips is being done somewhere in Taiwan or somewhere, somewhere cheap, uh, I guess. Um, but there is a startup company in, in Korea that is solely focused on building a chipset for AI. So if you know how software AI runs, it runs in a very specific kind of, um, um, I don't want to go into technical, but uh, you essentially need to simulate what your uh, brain does in terms of like there's a neurons in your brain. So um, it, it has a neural network and it, it, for the neural network to, to run efficiently, um, they are creating this chipset for CPU that's purely dedicated to run um, AI models efficiently. So the current uh, CPUs that we are used to, like, you know, we hear M1, M2, uh, like Intel chipsets and all these CPUs, they're more general purpose chipset and they're incredibly inefficient at uh, operating on AI models uh, because it knows nothing about AI models. So uh, typically these AI models are uh, uh, ran on GPU to for to leverage the paralleliz parallelization on, on GPU. But I think uh, there's a, there's some startup companies. Um, I know the one company in Korea because, because I follow the Korean news, but um, they're designing AI dedicated CPU chipset. What that means is we're going to be expecting to see all these machines and computers that are that are AI first. That's a whole paradigm shift. And um, when those kind of chipsets get installed onto these robots, then it's, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. So. Um, yeah, I can't wait. It's, it's going to be very interesting. And um, I'm going to be keep following up with these AI news and uh, I'll let you guys know.